Hello everybody, I was inspired to do a video on the nocebo effect, further to a post I made last week by Bruce Lipton, who's this cellular biologist, someone who was cloning stem cells in the 60s before it became cool, and a true pioneer in the science of epigenetics, which I've also spoken about before. If you're not familiar, by the way, with the science of epigenetics, it's how the environment in the body signal, signals the genes, it's not the genes that trigger an illness, so it's all about the environment uh, signaling the genes and he's a true pioneer in this field. So this post last week ruffled a few feathers and I've realized that to the untrained eye it may even appear a little irresponsible but I know what he's talking about and that's why I posted it and it's a really refreshing wonderful way to look at what's going on right now and the main point I wanted to bring to your attention is what he referred to as the nocebo effect. Most people have heard of the placebo effect. Most people haven't heard of the nocebo effect. And it's really worth knowing what this is right now. And this can be really life-changing. So a quick reminder about what the placebo effect is. The pl placebo effect occurs when you take some kind of sugar pill and you're of the belief that this pill is going to get rid of your symptoms or, or heal you. And you take this thing for a period of time and your, the power of your belief heals the body. It's scientifically documented, it's proven. And what actually happens is a thought or a belief, a belief is a thought that you continue to think, a thought triggers an emotion, which triggers a cascade of chemicals and hormones, which is actually the, the perfect concoction of chemicals and hormones to heal the body. That's how powerful the human body is. Through thought alone, we can heal the body through the power of our belief. That is just incredible to know, and I think more attention needs to be brought to this. So the nocebo effect works in reverse, and I discovered this, by the way, back in 2015, I think it was, when I watched the Truth About Cancer series, a phenomenal documentary series, by the way, for anyone who might have cancer or knows or some, someone with it. I discovered what the nocebo effect was, and it works in reverse. So placebo effect works in the positive. You think, you believe this pill is going to heal you, the nocebo effect works in reverse. So if we're fed um, information which we believe to be true, which is negative, let's say we receive the information that a certain illness is incurable. I'll use the example of multiple sclerosis. Uh, many people are told it's incurable because Western medicine doesn't have a cure, which means drugs or surgery won't cure it. If that's what the person believes, that's what the body hears, and that's what the body will create. That's the pharmacy of chemicals that the body will create in alignment with that belief. It can go one step further. In a cancer diagnosis, for example, if someone receives a diagnosis or rather a prognosis that they have X months to live and they believe, I'm not even going to look at the screen as I talk about this, they believe this um, prognosis by an oncologist, if they believe that diagnosis, that's enough for that power of belief to shut down the body whether the person is sick or not. This is all documented so and there's studies on Harvard by the way there's some brilliant documents on this and Bruce Lipton has been talking about this for many many years and the, the reason I want us to know about this right now is because if we're constantly faced with stuff in the media that we believe to be true even if it's statistically verifiable if we are believing this stuff in the media about all of these deaths and all of these people and that is what we are glued to if we are glued to this infiltration of fear all the time and we're glued to it you know we don't we don't limit exposure to it we are choosing to be programmed by the media and I think it's really worth not being programmed by the media right now because the body is so much better than most people have ever been allowed to believe now I'm not I'm not suggesting don't do all the, the sensible things or the, the isolation we need to do all of those wonderful things to stay clean and sterile sterile and all of the things that we're being told to do absolutely absolutely we need to do all those things but I don't think we should make it worse than it is we need to accept what it is but not make it worse than it is and that's what the media is creating the media itself is creating the nocebo effect in many people who get glued into what is being drip fed to us 24 7 so just remember the power of the mind over the body if we if we have this belief that this thing's deadly i'm not looking at the camera it's guess what the body's going to hear so if i get it this is possible i hold the belief that it's just a little virus i'm like i've got a really strong immune system i've basically got no inflammation in my body because I, I, I consume an anti-inflammatory diet definitely definitely do that now by the way if you have inflammation you want to get that right down and i can help you with that 
But I hold the belief right now that my immune system is super strong, and if I do get it, I'm just gonna pass it with ease because it's a tiny little virus. That is the belief I hold. So, and because I know about the power of the belief, and the nocebo effect, and the placebo effect, that is what I choose to believe. And I limit exposure to about five minutes a day. I need to, I don't need to, but I feel like I should keep up to date with what's going on for everyone's safety, mine, for everyone else I'm around. So I'm going to do all of those things, but I'm not gonna get sucked into it and watch it 24 seven. Every day that we have available to us is a gift. And if we choose to focus on the media, it's gonna put us into that stress response. This is another really important thing to know. So what Bruce is also saying is it's not the virus itself that's the thing to fear, it's the fear itself of the virus. So the virus itself, the body can pass, but it's the fear that can literally downregulate the immune system. It puts us into fight or flight, which actually drains the blood away from our gut, which is right, 70 to 80% of the immune system is located in and around the gut. In fight or flight, and if we're glued into the media right now, this is what's gonna be happening in the body, potentially, if we allow it to, the blood drains from the gut, goes into our extremities, and it's the perfect design for the human body to respond to, say, a saber-toothed tiger to escape this danger or threat. So the blood drains from the gut, so this makes the gut weaker, which is where the immune system is located, 70 to 80% of it, and that's precisely what we don't want right now. We want to have a really strong gut and a strong immune system. And we can do that by flipping the, the nocebo and utilizing the placebo and doing things like heart-brain harmony that I spoke about, spoke about in a video last week, connecting the head brain with the heart brain and creating this healing environment in the body, which is the opposite of what we're gonna have if we're glued to the media. So what I would suggest is, I'm not gonna talk about heart-brain harmony right now because it's in another video and you can look at that, but there's some ways through thought alone that we can trigger a healing response in the body. Because we, whatever we can do right now, to be in this form of accept, acceptance, of, blah, 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 acceptance of what is perfect. We can't deny it. We can't go and you know, bury our heads in the sand. But if we just accept it, let's not make it worse than it is. Tell the body it's just a virus. If, if, if we do get it, I hold the belief that I won't even get it, but it might happen. Um, and just kind of accept, but let's not make it worse than it is. And if we remove ourselves from the media and we do creative stuff instead, get into this place of appreciation and love and joy and care you know I'm connecting with lots of friends now and family and we're talking to people on FaceTime there's lots of stuff to be grateful for and it's helping us to slow down and collaborate and communi communicate with each other again why don't we do all those things but not gl be glued into the media because we want our immune system strong and one of the fastest ways to, to change the immune system is to get into a state of love and appreciation and care and gratitude scientifically proven at the Heart Math Institute so I just wanted to say that. Uh, is there anything else I've missed off? Um, no, that, I've covered everything. <laughs> we have the power to override the chemistry in our body and we get to choose right now what we do. So I hope that's been useful. If, if you are interested right now in doing what you can to strengthen your immune system, this is what I've been doing for five years, helping people reverse chronic inflammatory health conditions, all kind of skin conditions, IBS, type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, arthritis, gout, Parkinson's in one spectacular case, helping someone reverse type 2 diabetes. All of this was by addressing the immune system. Chronic inflammation, if you have chronic inflammation, your immune system's suppressed and you wanna get rid of it. It's really fast, it's easy to get rid of inflammation from the body. It just means changing a few habits, changing a few thoughts, and it's very, very powerful. So if you'd like support with this, I'm gonna create a program specific to immunity right now so you can bolster your immune system and not only are, are you gonna feel amazing, the side effects might be a skin condition goes away, the side effect might be your asthma goes away, the side effect might be your type two diabetes goes away, the side effect might be your high blood pressure goes away. All of these are purely symptoms of something happening underneath the, the surface. This is the beauty of doing this holistically. This is the beauty about looking after the immune system. If you'd like support with this, send me a message and I'll send you a link about how this works. Otherwise, stay happy somehow, <laughs> watch comedy and laugh with friends and connect and all that stuff because that's all amazing for the body. And I'm gonna post a link to the Bruce Lipton article so you can have a look at it. It'll probably make more sense to you now. So thank you for watching. And if anyone has any questions, I'll ask now.
Okay. Well, happy Monday. Have a wonderful week. Stay positive. Stay awesome. Thank you.